I better watch it, I didn't peak too early, but this one, I'll tell you what, because you don't realise what I'm looking at right now, right in front of me. Let me introduce you to 41 Brayhead in St Mona's. This is amazing. Uh, three bedroom, three reception, two bathroom, semi-detached property on a substantial plot, a double garage to the rear, a workshop to the rear. It's even got a summer house to the rear as well and a breakfast and kitchen. And wait till you see when I flip the camera around where we are. This is literally your view out the front. Look at that. And wait till you see it when we get upstairs to these, these top windows. This is the property right here. Let me just pull that back. Driveway to the side, it goes all the way back. Now, very, very deceptive, because if you see it here, you think, yeah, okay, two bedroom, semi-detached property. It goes all the way back and literally need to get a taxi to get to the back of that garden. It is on a huge plot and it sits in the sun more or less all day long beautiful front garden. Now we're sitting round about quarter to one right now and the sun's sitting right here. Uh, so basically in the morning it's going to be sitting on this house in the morning and on the rear as well because there's enough there's enough distance at the back that you're clearing everything no bother. But it's a beautiful location and a beautiful property. First of all when I come in I, I've never seen a tiled floor in that state of, state of good repair. Uh, it is immaculate almost inside. Um, okay so uh, let me take you on the tour round about this. If the one thing it's got is plenty of storage uh, and possibilities and opportunities. Uh, off to the side here in the main hall, we've got a double uh, doors for storage. Uh, we've got our first front bedroom uh, in here with a beautiful bay window. Uh, then this is a substantial size in comparison to in comparison to new builds you get nowadays. A lot smaller, aren't they? They don't make them like this anymore. I'll tell you. That bay window at the front is amazing. And the one thing I'm going to be always focusing on is that view. Uh, I could sit here all day and watch that. Look at that. And overall in here as well, plenty of storage, as I said, and built-in cupboards. And you've got your own ensuite shower room. So ensuite shower room, uh, thermostatic shower above there, sink and WC. Off into the rear bedroom. So another good sized double bedroom in the rear. And here. And then we have the bathroom. So bathroom, uh, a nice wee surprise at the back of the door because we've got another shower. So thermostatic shower at the back of here. And then into the living room. This living room must have been two rooms at one point um, because as I come round, I'm gonna come back to that window by the way, you've got that arch. So there must have been another room off the back there. So this is a big, big size. That goes off in the dining room, this goes upstairs to your own suite. Yes, your own suite upstairs. You've got your own reception room and your own bedroom. But let's just focus on this for a while. <laughs> Look at that. You ain't ever gonna get that again. Once you've got this, you've got it. That's a stunning view. Wait till you see it from upstairs. So gas fire you can see over there as well. Um, and you've got your doorway to the rear. Now, let's just go upstairs and look at the um, living room up here. And then the bedroom off to the side. It does have a craft room off to, and a dressing room off to the side as well. So a good size reception room up here. Again, we're all waiting for this, by the way. <laughs> you've got that bay window to the front above with these beautiful views. Look at that. You could just take a picture of that, couldn't you? And just leave it there. Imagine sticking that on Instagram and letting everybody see it. There in the distance you can just see the St Monan's windmill where the salt pans were many years ago. All the history, this place is steeped in history along here and along there is the St Monan's open water tidal pool. Uh, you can see some of the other uh, restaurants, you can see the East Bear Smokehouse. You can just see the tip of the Craig Miller restaurant as well but we'll talk about that in a minute. But right across, I can just see the Mayel in the distance there, in the, in the mist. I can just see the outline of the Bass Rock. And then you've got North Berwick Law over there as well. And then over there. But what a room. What a room. I'll probably stand out most of my time. But then downstairs you're getting the same view. So you've got the next double bedroom. So they've got two singles in here, but easily put a double bed over there. Yeah, just suits the purpose at the time, doesn't it? And then you can see it looked way in the distance. If I could zoom in on that. See, you've got Largo Law over there. 
and you can see a sneak peek as well at the double garage and the bit to the side. Yeah, you could potentially see next door's done something, you know, convert it. So potential to convert that, and I'll talk about that when I get outside. Uh, and then this goes off into its own wee office area. So you've got a wee, uh, you could have a home office, you could have a sewing room, a craft room, or or it could be a dressing room. It could be a, a place for your all your clothes and everything like that. Shoes, lots of shoes in here. Perfect, isn't it? Let's go downstairs. Now this, I believe, this could be original uh, to the house, this stained glass window, um, and they've retained it. Uh, so we're off into the dining room. So good sized dining room in here, you can see that, plenty of space for table and chairs. You've got six in there just now, and you could easily extend that probably, uh, probably the other way, you could probably extend it right out into about 10 or 12. Uh, you've got the patio door, sliding patio doors going out to the side, we're going to see that when we get out there as well. See what I mean about every, everything I've shown you right now sits in the sun around this property and then off into the breakfast and kitchen so a good sized breakfast and kitchen in here there'd be a real temptation to take this wall away actually and open this right up to a massive uh, dining kitchen over here overall that'd be really nice and then off into your laundry probably keep that where it is keep all the noises to the rear in the area so good sized laundry area and you see they've got the fridge and freezer behind there and here and then out this amazing back garden sunroom I'll be sitting in there most of the time as I said we're sitting around about one o'clock now and the sun's creeping into here what a place now see when you walk into here it's nice and toasty oh double glazed as well nice and toasty look at that that's a picture in itself isn't it Sometimes I think it's just like they put stickers on there <laughs> of gardens because it just looks immaculate. But what a beautiful area. Gardens starting to come out into full bloom. And see what I mean about the sun? So midday onwards it's sitting on this house it's all the time. More or less it's sitting on the back all the time because, because of the lowness of the, the roof itself and the height of the sun is going to clear that quite easily. So there's, there's opportunities out there, as I said, what they've done next door is maybe to convert that into a self-contained unit or potentially, um, or potentially extend off to the side. Um, but then if it's, it, it depends what you want it for and how much, you want to, how much you want to do to it. But this is a perfect courtyard area to the rear, isn't it? Nice and enclosed. And literally, so the sun's going to come, so the sun's up here, you know, midday, south's about there. So it's going to go down over there. So there's nothing to get in the road of the sun. So it's sitting on here all the time. What a place! So see what I said about the front, how it's deceptive. You just see the front, you go, yeah, two bedrooms, semi detached, and then you're like, what? Three bedrooms, three reception, two bathrooms. And it's got a breakfast and kitchen as well. And it's got a double garage at the back, and it's a workshop to the rear, and you've got the sunroom. And you've got this big, massive plot for off-street parking to the rear as well, the monobocked area. And then you've got that bit to the side. If you've got a boat or anything like that, you can keep it up there. Jet ski. Jet ski, you'd be tempted. See what I mean about the size of this? Look at that. I've, I've got to go back to get this all in the camera. I'll keep going back, keep going back, keep going back. Keep going back, come right away to the back. And that's what it takes to get this. The furthest zoom I can get on this. What a place. And then you've got your double garage here. So massive double garage with a gantry up the top for storage. You've got a doorway going into your workshop as well to the side. Uh, but you've got a doorway going in here. Perfect, isn't it? Ideal. What a place. What a place, definitely. Right, where am I going to sit? Where am I going to sit? Let's, let's, let's think about this. Let's go over and we'll sit here and we'll just recap. And I'll talk about the area for people that don't know it. This bench is perfect for that. Oh, I'd be sitting out here with a nice cup of coffee or something like that. Maybe something a wee bit stronger for some other people. So let's recap. Um, three bedroom, three reception, two bathroom, semi-detached property. You can see the massive plot, the substantial plot is, is located on. And you can see these amazing views out to the front over the harbour, way to the fifth or fourth and that, and across the sea itself. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone, isn't it? Uh, you've got this double garage out to the rear. Uh, you've got the workshop as well, you've got massive space for parking. And then you've got that sun, that sunroom off to the, the separate sunroom to the rear as well. 
Uh, for anybody that doesn't know the St Monans area, um, you've got uh, cafes, bistros and restaurants here. Let me talk about them. East Pier Smokehouse is on the front at the side. And then across the other side of the harbour, you've got the Craig Miller restaurant. In between, you've got the guys at the Giddy Gannett on Station Road. And then further up to the top of the Station Road, you've got the Bass Rock Business Park with the Muffin Man Cafe. And then you've got East Nook Salt down as well. Uh, across the road, you've got the Premier Store for your shopping. And then you've also got, um, next door to that, you've got the hairdressers. Uh, at the back on the main road itself, as you're, uh, before you come in, along St Monans, uh, you've actually got the walking space, which is the Malaysian takeaway there. Uh, and then your easy access into uh, Ely, so you can get further along the coastal path, uh, back along uh, past the Old Kirk and the uh, Newark Castle, into Ely itself along the coastal path. Um, now, uh, local primary school, a uh, fantastic local primary school, and it overlooks the playing fields, where it's got a wee play park for the kids as well there. But you've got the playing fields, which is mainly where the St Monans uh, Swallows uh, football team train. Um, but it's a vast open space uh, to enjoy yourself. Uh, as I said before, and I pointed out the windmill, you've got the windmill there and you've got the, the East Nook where the, where the salt pans were. And the salt pans were, yes, the history behind the salt pans is, 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 you know, part of the culture of this area, I suppose. And that's why you've got the East Nook Salt Company as well with Darren Peaty. Um, and, and then as well, um, you've got um, open water swimming next door to there at the St Monas Tidal Pool, a uh, great local primary school. High school is along at uh, Wade Academy in Anshula, which is a couple of miles along up the road. Uh, you've got Pit and Meme in between uh, for arts and crafts and fairs in there as well, and amenities there as well. They've got a great open water tidal pool as well. Uh, and then over the hill, you've got easy access into St Andrews, round about, I think it's about 10 miles and back here. Uh, what more could you ask for? Literally welcome to God's country, I would say. Don't tell the people in Yorkshire. It really is here in the East Newcastle's God's country. Um, okay, so there's more details on this post. You can click on the link above or below for more information for the photograph and descriptions. Uh, there is a location footage, uh, drone footage on here as well for people to see around the area and where everything is in relation to where this property is. If you want to see that as well, if you need to contact us, you can message us direct on this post or you can contact us on 01 333 421 774. Until next time, guys, I'm Jim Parker for Five Properties TV.